Hey guys, Mechanic CG here, and welcome back to the first build of the Jeep DLC for a Car Mechanic Simulator. I don't know why I'm saying DLC because it's actually built into the core game, unlike the other one. But um, today, what we've got, we've got ourselves a military Willys Jeep, and we've also got ourselves a Jeep Wrangler. So what we're going to be doing, we're going to be messing around with the Willys Jeep. There's also the Jeep Grand Cherokee as well, and then the uh, V8 supercharged version as well. So we'll probably get into both of them. Um, but first of all, what we're going to do, we're going to actually take a look at this car. Oh, this looks nice. So what we need to do, we need to take out all of the parts. Front left fender. Uh, interior disassemble. No, normal mode. There we go. Take them out. Uh, we've got a rear bumper to come off. Uh, right tail lights, uh, truck window. Is there a window in the front? Yes. Coolio. Uh, those are all out. Left side mirror. I think everything has been taken out, so it's now time to disassemble parts of the engine. Uh, we've got to take out the radiator. Uh, I think we should be able to take the whole gearbox out in one go. Oh no, we're going to have to take out transfer boxes and that, aren't we? First. Uh, let's lift it up again. Uh, yeah, transfer boxes have to come out. Transfer case. And front drive shaft F. There we go. We take the transfer case out. And then the gearbox can come out. Okay, I'm going to take all that out as well. Uh, if we lower this in, lower down. Um, where's the engine crane? Here it is. Uh, drain the oil. Normally I do that, but this time for some reason I didn't. Uh. Uh, car lift at A. There we go. Use equipment. And place equipment back. Nice. Uh, now we need to lower this down again. And pull the engine out. And the engine's gone. Nice. Right, let's just take the brake servos out. Ah, this has front and rear leaf springs. Interesting. There we go. Fuel pump comes out. V8 OHV mufflers again. And we got some drum brakes. Nice. Uh, if we take the drum wheel cylinders off and take all these knuckles off. Sh shock absorbers. We should be able to get this out pretty quick. 
Rubber bushings, they are very irritating in this game to try and take out. Uh, you bolt there. And you bolt there. And then if we take the spring plates and the actual springs themselves out. And then what we can do is do rinse and repeat on the other side. Definitely a rinse though. I mean, look at the rust on all these parts. Oh, there we go. And then the wheel hub can come off. There we go. Right. Uh, shock absorbers. They can come out. Uh, leaf spring U-bolts. Yep, they can come out as well. And then leaf spring plate. And also the spring itself. And now all we got to do is go to the front and I think everything should be off the car. Should be. What's this? E-ring? Right, so we've got to now take the U-bolts out. Uh, springs come out. And then the plates themselves. Uh, I'm just taking everything out in random orders right now. No. There we go. Uh, drum wheel. Take these off. And take that out. Oh yeah, there's another rubber bush in here. Take the last leaf spring out. And then if we take the tie rods out. Should be able to take the steering rack out. Just like that. Right, I need to take the steering knuckle ring off. And then we can take this out, and we should be done. There we go. Everything has been removed, and that was pretty quick, actually. Ten minutes. Um, so what we need to do now is... First of all, we need to work out which engine we actually use. Um, let's add engine onto crate. So it's just an i Four by the looks of it. Uh, if we check that on. Yeah, it's an i4 engine. Uh, so if I take that from the... Here. Create new engine, i4. Now actually, there's one cool thing that I've noticed. Is you can now uh, press X... I didn't know if this was here before, but I've just noticed it now. You can press X and instantly load up the tablet menu. Um, so what I want to do, I want to go to engine. This is going to be a restore, not a uh, upgrade. So I4. Uh, 
Uh, I think it's I foresee. Uh, we'll go with that. I'm just putting random parts on now. So we need the air filter base and the oil filter base. Uh, and I think it's I foresee. There we go. Oil filter in. And covered. Nice. Right. Now let's fit on the air filter base. Ah, do I not have the cover? I thought I got the cover. There we go, that's more like it. Ah, one thing I didn't do. Here, we want to do this. Nice. Um, okay, let's carry on with building this engine. So we need to fit in a crankshaft, so I should probably rotate the engine around. There we go. Um, here we go. Mount. Uh, crankshaft. I'll get each one. I foresee. Cool. Uh, oh, the camshaft is just here as well. So we need three bearing caps and three piston with con rods. Crankshaft bearing cap. Uh, here. And then, what was the other thing? Piston with Kong rod. There we go. Uh, and I forgot uh, caps as well. There we go. There we go. And the last one in. Yep, there we go. And then we've got the last of the rod caps to go on. And now we need these middle bits. What is that? Ah, that's the flywheel itself. Ah, interesting. I keep pressing B. 
Uh, I can just press X now. Uh, so we need I4. I think the engine is an I4C. So anything that says I4C. Uh, I4. There we go. There we go. Uh, oil pan. Fitted. Um, I think that's everything here. So what we can do is we can now twist the engine round to be the right side up. That was a lot of screws. Right, so we need some spark plugs, exhaust manifold, and fuel filter. Ah, we got the water pump. Uh, is that I6 cam gear? Yeah. And then we need an I6B timing chain as well. Uh, here. I6B timing chain. We also need I4C exhaust manifold. There we go. Did I not get the I4C? Hmm. Timing cover. Where are you? There you are. Bright green one. And I also need a water pump pulley. There you are. Are you serious? You need a V8 pulley on this. Uh, V8. There we go. Arm I6B. We need both of them. Uh, we also need a fuel pump. Did we get the intake manifold as well? No, we didn't. Uh, where are you? I6B fuel rail. Igni uh, uh, ignition distributor. I4C distribute a rotor. I think 
Ah, no, I fall C. There you go. Still didn't get the intake manifold. Uh, I fall C. There we go. Uh, mount on that part. There we go. This coming together. Carburetor I6B. How have I not bought the spark plugs? There we go, four spark plugs. There's one. There's two. Three and four. Uh, we also need an ignition coil B. Um, we need two clip Bs as well. Right, so from what I remember, uh, we've gone way past I. Ignition coil B. Clip bees. And then we need to look at I6 now. Arm um, A, arm um, B, carburetor. And I think that should do. For now. So we need an I6 B alternator. And an I6B power steering. Uh, ignition coil is in. Uh, right, fuel filter. Here we go. I six B alternator and where's a power steering pump? There we go. Right, so we've got, should have all our belts that we need. Uh, let's put this one on. And this one on. And we need a radiator fan B. Fan. Let's search for that. Uh, radiator fan B. There we go. Uh, ah, yeah. Forgot about the gearbox bit. Uh, let's go into gearbox. We need clutch plate, clutch pressure plate. That thing and that thing. Pressure plate. And then release bearing. And I think 
that is the engine done. Uh, let's just double check. No parts to be mounted. Nope. Right, so thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, please leave a like, comment down below, and subscribe, and I shall see you next time. Goodbye.